Morning, Stella. Morning, Peter. Last night I heard uh, the song Pour Some Sugar On Me, and, and this question popped into my head. Are you, and please say yes. Griffin, can I talk to you privately? Stella, turn around. You know, that is one nice thing about having a deaf co-worker. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. That's a helicopter hovering over a woman swimming in a pool. Oh, that one's ready. Griffin, I actually came to tell you that you're being promoted to forklift operator. Really? That's awesome! Anyway, the job is yours, which means you'll be receiving a 5% raise. Wow, a raise! All right, you beautiful bastard, show me what you got. Peter, you can run now, and no one will call you a quitter. What am I saying? No! I learned how to use stickers, and I can learn how to use this. Oh, guys, good, you're here. I am so excited. Guess what? Uh, I hope this isn't about your podcast again. Sherlock Holmes hat, football man hat, Angry working class Irish idiot hat. No, you guys, this is really big. You're not gonna believe this. Peter, we've been over this. You're not allowed to say that unless there's a forklift outside. Wow! I know, awesome, right? Oh my God, I wanna get on! Hold on, remember the first thing we said we'd do? Wow, so that's what the tops of cars look like. All right, walking speed. Uh, how's the weather down there, you short idiot? Shall we tell him his pants fell off? No, let's wait a while. I walk all the time, cause my legs can walk. This whale's beached himself. He needs to get back in the water or he'll die. Step aside, I'll handle this. Give me some room. <laughs> this is what it's all about, huh, Duke? 600 gallons of beer in one big thing. This is what we do, Peter. Are you nuts? No way you can chug that. No, I can totally do it. I've only had like four beers this morning. <laughs> it's killing him, but he's doing it. <laughs> Griffin, you're fired! Eh, see if I care. How's the job search going, Dad? Eh, not great, Chris. I'm looking at the paper right now. I don't see a lot here. Our savings are getting pretty low. You know, actually, Peter, there's a lot of job training programs sponsored by the state that could help you get the skills you need for another occupation. It's been three weeks, and you haven't had a single job lead. Well, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Maybe I should look for a job. Lois, I'll be damned if I will let my wife be a prostitute. What? No, I'll get a regular job. Eh, I guess you should. And that'll give me more time to focus on expanding my record collection. And this one? Oh, Mozart, the boy genius, the best. Okay, how about this? Oh, the pussy. Okay, I'll take these two. Very good, sir. Just make sure you finish on the back. Never finish on the pussy. <sighs> All right, you can do this. You've shopped here for years. You know this place like the back of your hand. Are you available to work weekends? Groceries. Very impressive. This next one is a trick question. Groceries? I'm hired. Welcome aboard. Hey, guys, great news. You're looking at the new assistant store manager of Stop and Shop. You got a job at the grocery store? That's great. Lois, that's awesome. Now I can spend my days at the clam like we've always talked about. No, I mean, you're going to need to cook the meals and do laundry and take care of Stewie like I've been doing. Why are you doing laundry in the dishwasher? Oh, I can't use the washing machine. It's really been acting up lately. What's going on down here? This is washing machine stuff. Go back upstairs, suck bag. All right, Stewie, I'm gonna change your diaper now, which unfortunately means I have to touch your privates. All right, so here I come with the cloth. I'm looking you in the eye now. Please meet my gaze. And we're done. That was intense. Now, I don't want to pat myself on the back, but I worked all day getting them just right. Holy crap! Oh, my God! You know what, Peter? You tried hard, and you still earned that wine. I'm hot! Wow, Peter, the house looks amazing. Yeah, well, let's take off our shoes and try to keep it that way, huh? Well, what do you say I reward you for all your hard work? Jeez, Lois, is that all you think about? I'm tired. Get in here, Peter. Don't you want to have sex? Yeah, I don't think we've done it since I started working. Yeah, I guess you're right. Mm, I want to do it on top of the comforter. I don't care if we make streaks. Well, look, uh... Peter, get up! Get up, there's a caterpillar in the bed! Oh, that's, uh, 
That's me. Tina, are you having trouble getting... Well, somebody's got to have sex with me. It's okay. Your vagina's just a painted-on hole. Wow, Peter, you're up. That's not what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured you'd like to start your day with a stiff one. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get a boner. You're a failure as a man and a father. Well, go see Dr. Hartman. I don't want to do that. I'm embarrassed. This shouldn't embarrass you. The size should embarrass you. How about now? Is this doing anything for you? No. Hmm. Well, you got a dead rat in your pants, mister. There's got to be something you can do, Dr. Hartman. <laughs> Doctor, what about Viagra or Cialis? What about them? Well, if Peter could try them, they might help with his problem. Hey, uh, you guys want another round? Uh, I don't know, Peter. It's getting kind of late. Yeah, I gotta get going. It takes me three hours to get ready for bed. Dr. Hartman says I'm impotent. Oh, you don't have to take that from him. You know, Dr. Hartman once told me I had gonorrhea, so I hit him in the head with a bat. Well, look at it this way, Peter. Without sex, you'll have more time to do the things you've always wanted to do. For me, it was learning to play the trombone. Peter, I am gonna help you beat impotence. We can do this together. Thanks, Quagmire, because this sucks. All right, Peter, now, when it comes to curing impotence, sometimes you have to get creative. So we're gonna try the Boston method. You hear me in there, dum-dum? Let's look alive. Listen, I could be nice about this, or I could get my brother. It's... it's not working. All right, well, I gotta go. Are you sure this is gonna work, Quagmire? Of course! This isn't the first time I've rigged up a sex puppet. I now have full control over your genitals. Lois, I'm ready! Uh -huh. <gasps> Peter! Come on, Quagmire, you were a Navy pilot for six years. Land this thing! <laughs> Nothing seems to be working, you guys. Is it gonna be like this forever? Yes. No, you didn't start having trouble in the bedroom until you lost your job, right? Yeah, so? Well, that explains it. I mean, you've been completely emasculated because you're no longer the breadwinner. We gotta get you your old job back. Quagmire, I'm not following you. Come on, since this man lost his job, he can't pleasure his wife. Is that true? I, I have what the kids call mage ween probs. One redo for being fired for gross negligence. And one hug. The hug one is expired, Griffin. This one's for free. Welcome back, Griffin. You don't have to anymore because I got my old job back. Peter, I'm so proud of you. I am gonna do you right here on a stack of pita bread. Oh, Peter.